Hi everyone, welcome back to another logo animation tutorial. In this video I'll be sharing the 10 most popular After Effects tricks you can start using right away. I found this logo vector file online and prepared it for animation. You can download it using the link in the description to follow along. This is the composition settings that I'll be working on, so let's get started. Select the layers, right click and choose create shapes from vector layer. Next, organize your timeline by renaming each layer and coloring them to keep track of different elements. This makes your workspace cleaner and more efficient for animating. Select these layers and click the shy icon to hide them from view. Make sure the shy switch is also enabled at the top of the timeline. Now let's create a background. Double click the rectangle tool to create a solid colored background. Select the tire layer and press P to open the position properties. Click the stopwatch icon to create the first keyframe at the end position. Then move the playhead back and create the second keyframe by adjusting the tire's position to the left. Ease the keyframes by pressing F9. Then adjust the graph editor for smoother animation. Now press R to open the rotation properties. Add two keyframes to create the rotating tire effect. Set the first keyframe at the start of the movement, the second at the end. Then open the graph editor and adjust the speed graph to create a slower start and a slower end for a more natural rotation effect. So far so good, so let's animate the gun. Choose the layer and add offset path effect. Adjust the amount to zero and create a keyframe. This keyframe will be our ending position. So move it further in the timeline. For the start position, adjust the amount until the layer completely disappears. Then press P for position properties and we will need three keyframes. Starting position, overshoot and ending position. Adjust the start position to the up and the middle keyframe to down. This will create an overshoot bounce effect. Next press F9 and ease the keyframes. Adjust the curves similar to this one. This will create more smoother and natural animation effect. Next, right click to an empty area and create a null object. Parent the tire layer to the null object so we will animate the position of it. Select the gun layer and press U to reveal the all keyframes. We will again need three keyframes to give it an overshoot animation. Try to create the similar keyframes and adjust the graph editor as we did it for a gun layer. This will create an impact effect. Now let's bring up the gun layer and animate it. For this one we will also use offset path effect. We need a smooth reveal for this one as well. Before we continue let's adjust this timing and I think it looks good. Now let's bring up the tire reveal effect and we will also use offset path effect for this one. Next, press R to access the rotation properties for the gun layer. Create a keyframe for its initial position. Create another keyframe and adjust the rotation. Then copy the start keyframe and paste it in the end of the animation. So it will be the end position. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Now let's adjust the timing. Select all keyframes, press and hold Alt and drag them. Next, click an empty area and create another null object. Parent all layers to this null object. And then press U to reveal all keyframes in the gun layer. Then press P for null object to access position properties and create a keyframe for its initial position. Then create another one and move it to the left as it shoots and creates an impact. Copy the start position keyframe and paste it to set an end position. Then adjust the graph editor curves and let's see how it looks. I think it looks nice so let's move forward. Create a circle and add position and scale keyframes. Adjust the position and scale properties for our ending position. Make this circle bigger so it covers the whole space. Now copy the start keyframe for scale and paste it as an end position. Ease the keyframes by pressing F9 and adjust the graph editor for smoother animation. Now we need to work on timing. Place the layers on the timeline accordingly and let's add offset path effect for our red logo reveal layer. We will use the exact same technique as we did earlier. Now let's adjust our circle position. Create a keyframe and adjust the circle as it meets in the red layer. Press G to access the pen tool and adjust the motion path. Now let's preview it. 
I think we achieved the desired effect, so let's bring up the other logo element, which is the blue lines. Again, the same things, we will create offset path for its reveal. Then let's create a null object, so we will be able to animate its scaling. Bring the null object over our layer, so it will be easier to control them. Parent the blue stroke to our null object and press S to access the scale properties for the null object. Then create a keyframe for its ending position and create another one for start position. For the start position make it bigger and the end position will stay the same. Then ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor for smoother animation. Now let's adjust the timing and see how it looks. Nice and smooth. So let's bring up the stroke layer to animate it. For this choose a pen tool, deselect the fill and select the stroke and adjust the stroke width. Then draw over our stroke and then we will add a trim path effect. Create a keyframe for end position and move it further. Then for the start position adjust the amount to zero and we will have our desired effect. From matte options parent our layer to animated stroke. Of course, don't forget to ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Then we will do the same thing as we did for the blue stroke, adding a null object and adjusting the scaling of our stroke. Now let's see how it looks. Now let's pre-compose all layers except the text layer. The next thing we will do adding the scale keyframes for the text. Set a keyframe for end position and move it further. Add the start keyframe and scale it up. The last keyframe in the middle and adjust the scale value to 95. Again, ease the keyframes by pressing F9 and adjust the graph editor. Next, create the same scale keyframes for our pre-composed layer to add an impact effect. First keyframe value will be 100, second will be 95 and the last one will be also 100. Don't forget to ease the keyframe and adjusting the graph editor to similar to this one. The final thing we're going to do is adjusting the first scale keyframe of our text layer to 500. That's it for today's video, subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed the content. I'll see you in the next one.